In many developing countries of the Commonwealth, a large proportion of the population is dependent on primary sectors such as agriculture, forestry, fishery, animal husbandry, etc. However, the contribution of this sector to the overall economy is limited, indicating low productivity and disguised unemployment, resulting in poverty, malnourishment and poor quality of life. The extension system, which is supposed to strengthen the human resource development within the primary sector, is receiving less investment and less attention. Globalization and liberalization have added new challenges to the millions of farmers. Due to inadequate information and knowledge flow, the poor are not in a position to exploit the opportunities arising out of globalization. They are not offered opportunities to play a prominent role in forward and backward linkages. The farming community has limited investment potential since the surplus generated in agriculture is limited. The extension with limited financial and human resource capabilities approach the extension process as a didactic education model and hence it has limitations in reaching the primary sector in a special temporal context. The Commonwealth of Learning is making attempts to address these issues through the Learning for Farming initiatives. Its approach called Lifelong Learning for Farmers, L3F, offers a paradigm shift in agriculture extension. This approach promotes self-directed learning among farming communities. The modern information and communication technologies such as mobile phones, radios, computers can play a major role in strengthening such a learning process. In addition to the vertical flow of knowledge, these technologies can also support horizontal transfer of knowledge that is farmer to farmer learning. Lifelong learning for farmers has two important premises. One, cognitive social capital is an important precondition for lifelong learning. Two, it should be self-sustaining, self-generative process with a win-win framework for all the stakeholders. Commonwealth of Learning is involved in lifelong learning through farmers, cooperatives, women's associations, self-help groups, etc. The banking sector is involved since Cole has been emphasizing that lifelong learning would help in strengthening rural credit management and hence offers a good business strategy for the banking sector. Similarly, the ICT sectors such as mobile phone companies and marketing organizations also stand to gain by being involved in the lifelong learning for farmers. The initiative has shown positive trends in countries like India, Sri Lanka, Mauritius, Kenya, Uganda, Papua New Guinea and Jamaica. Institutions such as African Virtual University, mobile phone service companies, banks and microfinance groups have shown interest in this concept. But the most important factor is that the farmers and women have come forward in large numbers to initiate lifelong learning among their communities. Through lifelong learning, they have evolved group-based enterprises such as dairy, goat rearing, mushroom cultivation, and they have strengthened their enterprises such as tissue culture, banana plants, etc. Women have invested in mobile phones for learning. They are linked to universities, extension organizations, etc. They also share the learning through mobile phones with other women members. These types of learning and community associations, self-help groups have transformed social capital into social learning capital. Realizing the potentials of the mobile phones as a learning tool, Commonwealth of Learning is now involved in an audio and voicemail based learning management system for mobile phones with the University of British Columbia. Commonwealth of Learning believes that such a lifelong learning process will help to empower the community with negotiation skills and enhance their abilities to utilize the economic and social opportunities in a sustainable manner. <laughs>